step into a world of incredible van builds that will blow your mind. From the most enchanted mystical van that feels straight out of a fairy tale, to a mobile lounge for seven that redefines group travel. And trust me, you'll want to stick around till the end to see the Odyssey van. A luxury Scandinavian design, it's like nothing you've ever seen before. Patrick in New Jersey's Outdoor Adventures YouTube channel. Very happy to have Anthony back on the channel. You remember the last time he was on the channel, he had that English cottage camper van? That was spectacular. Well, today he's gonna completely blow you away. This is the most enchanting camper van I've ever seen. It's so intricate and it's an awesome floor plan too. It's got a Murphy bed, a huge kitchen in the middle, and it has a rear bath. So join us for the tour. Welcome back. We got a new friend with us. This is Left Eye. She's my companion. I've had her along for the ride for years. And uh, can't live without her. She wasn't here last time. And now she is. This is the outdoor patio. This is a Tiffany lamp that I converted to 12 volt. And a good place to enjoy just a nice spot to dine with your fellow other onward oh and it's everything in this van is walnut and sapilli for the most part so there are other versions of wood but those are the ones most noted and uh, that's throughout the entire van so starting with the panel you have your Victron water meter you have your system heater this switches for a dimmer of the ceiling this is down below. I'll talk about these bars in a second. And then back here for the window. I put everything on dimmers because I think lighting is crucial. I think lighting makes everything better if it's the right temperature, the right everything. So I, I tried to adjust everything on dimmers as much as I could. A butterfly light up here. Your entrance in and out in case some creepy ghouls try to get you at night and you can run from them boat hatch i went with the boat hatch this time as opposed to the dometic plastic one i like the streamline it's a bit more open um i just thought i'd try something different it's got its pluses and its minuses but it's nice so i utilized the boat hatch for that and you can actually fit outside of it if you wanted to go up there and check out the stars the usb got a couple usbs throughout so if you're sitting here you can do your charging your heater comes out here, that's adjustable. So down here, I put a footing so your feet aren't dangling. I add a carpet to it so you can stare, stand on it barefoot. And it's also good to get up here, use your hatch. And when the Murphy bed's down at night, it's a step to get up. So it kind of helps everything. And I just put it adjacent and stopped it here so it doesn't interfere with the, uh, with the kitchen. The epoxy bar, there's two of them. There's one here. And there's one up in the kitchen. This is sort of your earthy earth tones. And this is going to be your floral scenario. A woman named Dana built them for me. You can find her information inside of the um, information box. <laughs> the cushions. The cushions or the box? Let's move on to the box. I took some of the epoxy work, inlaid it with walnut and sapili. This box comes off, it acts as an armrest, it acts as a box that you can use for whatever, and as you'll see later, this comes out, hides behind it, and that's an extended bed, so it's utilized for three things. Millwork on all of the Tudor style channels. The material is masonite, so it's just that cardboard brown masonite that you find at Home Depot. I flipped it, used a rough edge, and I felt it kind of gave like a, a vintage touch to it. And that's what that's about right there. The cushions. So my girl Goldie, she's a babe. She did these for me. And they are Doramax. Doramax is a material, it's mostly polyester and nylon. 
but it's soft enough and you can't you can't wreck it it's wonderful zippers so you can clean everything and she added decron which adds for some nice uh, thickness and durability so really happy with these cushions but essentially you're resting on this mount as well as the mount over here and the hinges themselves so that comes down see how it gives a little cushion just makes it a little nicer and you have uh i think it's technically it's about four by six that's where we're at on this bed give or take I mentioned the bed extension and i want to show you how that works don't freak out little girl so the butcher block counter in the kitchen comes off excuse me i don't want to scare so this goes here this comes up these attach somehow or another and you have a six by six bed you can run a curtain and have like a guest scenario or just an extended bed if you want to do it that way so that's like a nice addition this is my happy place my domain i love kitchens i tried to get as much out of the kitchen as i could in relation to everything else but what you have here is dinner for tonight just kidding you have a cool skull rocks that are fake that just kind of plays with the theme some fake moss you have your 110 you have your dimmer switch or your floral light bar you have lighting underneath and then these two switches are for the outdoor warm and hot and cold open concept um, the dishware itself kind of scattered through etsy found medieval websites um, each piece was individual it was, it was kind of hard to find all this stuff and you, know, you have your your uh, enamel shell you've got custom wood plates this it's a silicone movable faucet hot cold with your custom inlaying sink oils stainless steel salt pepper more copper more walnuts a pulley etc and apothecary with lights fan sorry we skipped that but your fan down there fan and light switch and just in case jason comes after you propane three burner gm that's all i got to say about that blackout curtains this is the velvet air conditioning system 12 volt um it's nice you have a vanity more adjustable shelving to your liking this is where you can do your business get yourself pretty feel fancy for the night and just do your duty down here we have penny round there are gold accents in here if you look really closely they didn't show up that much but just know that i tried and i wanted to accent with it and this is epoxy grout not your standard grout very durable very good there's your shower which you rig up there you hook your curtain so you can get this area just a bit more safe this is acrylic wallpaper it's technically waterproof and everything is latex based and uh, azac so technically you could get this wet minus some of the wood which is uh, does have a really heavy duty wax on it but it's nicer to, to, co to cover it this is your handle for closing the door with your trailino kitty litter style human toilet 500 pounds and just in case somebody comes to attack you while you're doing your business you have this awesome fire hose <laughs> and your ladder to get up top and as i mentioned your warm and your cold lights contact 
me through my page about my about page and I'll have all the information. Just give me a ring, give me an email, uh, open book on how this thing is built, what's in it and what to expect. And um, thanks, I don't think I have anything else to say. What's up world, Chris here with Active Van Conversions. Behind me is a 2024 Transit Trail 148 extended all wheel drive. We built a mobile lounge in this van, something that we've never done before, taken some of our inspiration from past builds and incorporated it into this seven seater lounge on wheels. This is a mobile lounge, so it has seven captain's chairs, four here, three in the back, telescoping tables between these four captain's chairs, got a solid glass window on the driver's side, solid glass window on the sliding door, on the passenger side, max air fan up top as well as the AC unit that you can use while you're driving. We have two cabinets. So on this side we have the whiskey bar um, and on the driver's side we have the fridge cabinet. Fridge here for your self-explanatory as well as cubby space down below and cubby space uh, here up top above the fridge. And we have our control panel here on the passenger side wall. So you have the Victron BMV, so this is your battery monitoring system. It can also be controlled via Bluetooth. Here's your inverter controller, so turn that on. All your 110 outlets, just like in your household, will work. Um, and this also controls your shore power. So when you're plugged in at your house, office, whatever, charge up your batteries, run everything off the shore power. Here is the light switch. So there's off, on, and control the various light levels based on uh, what you'd like and another USB A USB C outlet right here. So up top we have the Nomadic Cool Co X3 12 volt air conditioning unit back here um, as well as two CRL 1033 windows those are on sliders open that max air fan up top right above you and can pull air nice and strong breeze through the van. Um, this is the longest wheelbase uh, on the Ford Transit as well as it has the extended. So this is basically the biggest transit you can get. Up top we got the FBC roof rack. Um, here is the electrical box. Uh, this is housing uh, 400 amp hours of lithium. Uh, we also have 300 watts of solar on the roof. Come around this side we have the FBC side ladder. I'll take you up top. You can also see the Z-Boost up there, uh, cell phone booster. Yeah, nice little thing. We are Active Van Conversions out of Reno, Nevada. This has been our mobile lounge van built on the Ford Transit chassis. Love the conversion. We will see you on the next one. We're in beautiful Bend, Oregon. My name is Lucas Revisa, and today I'm going to be showing you my latest van build, Odyssey. This is a 2022 Mercedes Sprinter 4x4. It is the 170 wheelbase, and this is my fourth complete van build. I've had the concept for this van for a while, and it took me about nine months to complete. I have a few things that I built around that I knew I wanted to do early on, and that was the corner shower, the smart tint changeable glass, and the bed lift in the rear. Everything else kind of came together as I was building, but I'm super excited to show you guys, so let's get right into it. One of the first things you see when you open your slider door is this garage. This is a wet garage. The walls are lined with neoprene, which is the same thing wetsuits are made out of. Right here is my Starlink router. So directly above this closet, the Starlink is permanently mounted on the roof and I have mobile internet anywhere I go, even while I'm driving. One of the centerpieces of this van is this corner shower and it has the angle right here and this is the shower door. But I wanted to keep that angle consistent, so I matched the countertop and this pantry door with the angle of the shower. And this allows the space to feel like you're being guided all the way in. This whole shower is a walk-through shower, so you go right in through into the front of the cab. And you can actually still see through the rear view all the way out the rear windows. For the toilet, we have the Laveo dry flush. And then when you're showering, you just move the toilet between the passenger and the driver's seat, and you have this whole three foot by three foot shower. The shower head is a Nebbia Moen. This is a misting shower head that releases a gallon and a half per minute. I have a hydronic heating system, which delivers me instant hot water. So I can be taking a hot shower as long as I have water in the tank. This closet with the glass and the switchable tint 
It is 3 16th tempered glass with a piece of film on it. And when you flick a switch, it becomes opaque. So when you spin this dial, the smart tint is no longer see-through. And when you turn the light off, one of my favorite parts about this one specifically, I chose the black smart tint, is that it just looks like a black mirror and that really matches the color scheme. Another location I have the smart tint is the pantry. And this has four different levels and this holds everything from cereal, pancake mix, cans, and then on the top, I have all of my silverware. These drawers are all solid walnut. Uh, I handpicked all the wood and grain matched them before I glued them up. So I had this vision for a low profile Chevron design and I wasn't able to find anything that resembled my idea on the market. So I actually custom made this whole floor. This is solid walnut and it's all tongue and grooved and glued to the floor. One of the last things before we leave the entryway is this shoe cubby. So if you have any muddy shoes, you can just slip them right into this cubby here. So this wall right here just looks like a normal slat wall, but it has three hidden bump ins and they're all pushed to open. And they have these little spotlights that illuminate the space. All you do is turn the switch on here. And each one of these cubbies can fit three bottles of wine, three bottles of Mountain Valley spring water, glass water bottles. I have cleaning supplies in here. It can be used for a number of things. All right, moving over to the kitchen. I have a dual burning induction cooktop. This pulls about 1800 watts when both burners are on max. I didn't want any propane in this build, so I have a pretty big electrical system with an induction cooktop just to take away as much risk as I can. For storage in the kitchen area, I have three upper cabinets and below the induction, I have three pretty big drawers as well. Below the countertop here, I have a 140 liter Dometic CRX stainless steel fridge. All of the other windows have a magnetic blackout cover. This was the only one that I custom framed myself. So I had to come up with a shade on my own. And that's how I came up with this sliding shade. Just across from the induction, I have the sink. On the left here, we have a three stage filtered water spigot, the Moen faucet. This thing reaches around the whole sink a little soap dispenser. And then this is a 15 inch by 13 inch black stainless steel sink all in one oven. This thing does everything from dehydrate, toasting bagels, air frying, bakes, broil, reheating. It really just does everything. Below the sink is the trash can. This is a seven gallon trash can. So plenty big for what you're going to need in this van. Right now we're going to dive into the heating and the cooling systems. I went all out with these two. For heating, I went with Rixons, and this is a hydronic heating system that does everything from heat the floors, instant hot water, and hot air. I can even preheat the engine if it's too cold out. And while I'm driving, I can trap the engine heat as well because I'm tapped into the coolant lines in the front of the engine bay. I have PEX lines going through the floor with heat transfer plates all the way under all these cabinets, all under all the plumbing, and under the shower. So nothing's gonna freeze. And when it's really cold out, you can still step in the shower and have a heated shower pan. For the cooling system, I decided to go with the Cruising Comfort ice box, And this is a 12 volt air conditioner. I have two fans underneath the van. I have the compressor under the sink and then the evaporator, which blows the air right in this bench. I am four for four for doing a happy jack in my build. This time I decided to shrink the bed length and increase my counter space. And I was able to do that because I have capsules on the outside of the van, which gives me an additional nine inches of sleeping. So the bed comes down, sits flush with the backrests and you sleep side to side, six foot nine. And you see, I have two extra blanks that fit in between the aisle alongside the lagoon mount. And these blanks wedge perfectly in to fill the rest of the space. This is also a huge bed space and I'm six foot one and I can sleep here comfortably. And now we have the third orientation, the bunk beds. So you can stop the happy jack at any height you need, throw the kids upstairs, and then you can sleep comfortably right underneath. That's about it for the inside of this van.
The roof nest is great if you want to enjoy the outdoors on a summer night and just get away from the inside of the van and be closer to nature. So the solar panel is on top of the roof nest and it's cool because you can open it up and angle it towards the sun. So if it's early morning and the sun's on the horizon, if you open up the roof nest, you'll get more wattage by pointing it directly at the sun. All right, guys, and that's a wrap on this tour. I hope you guys liked it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave a comment below, that always helps. 